AI is completely revolutionizing lead generation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make money with AI lead generation completely for free. First, I'm going to show you how to find hundreds or thousands of leads using Google advanced search. Then I'm going to show you how to clean the data using AI, which will save you hours of your time. Then I'm going to show you how to actually send messages to people using a, a special CRM software that I use. Then I'm going to show you how to send automated follow-ups to these leads randomized using AI and then you can set this up so that it does it on autopilot so you don't even have to be at the computer so let's get started first we're going to actually find the leads themselves and the best way to do that is like I said using Google advanced search and what we're going to do is we're going to type a, a prompt so to speak a search prompt into Google that looks like this and what we could do is we could replace this the website in this case I'm using Instagram but you could replace that with Facebook YouTube LinkedIn etc and this message this word rather this variable in quotes this is the ideal target audience that you're trying to go after so if you're a freelancer or a marketing agency let's say you do ads for example Facebook ads you're, you're looking for plumbers maybe you're looking for fitness coaches maybe you're looking for lawyers Whatever your ideal industry is, that's what you want to put into these quotes. So let's copy this, this search prompt and go over to Google. I'm just going to paste it in there as is and press search. Now I'm going to, I'm going to blur this out because it does contain personal information, but you're going to see tons of email addresses. This is emails that people are putting on Instagram for, for plumbers all over the country, all over the world in some cases. And if you just scroll here through, through here quickly, you can see emails, you can see phone numbers, you can see names. So next, what we're going to do, step number two, is we're going to use your favorite AI prompt, whatever that is. In my case, it's Grok, but you can use DeepSeek, you can use Gemini, you can use ChatGPT, whatever you want. And we're going to input a prompt that looks something like this. And you'll be able to access down below if you if you don't want to, you know, hand type it out. But it's it's going to be something along the lines of, you are a cold email outreach specialist. I run a, a marketing freelance agency that offers dumb for you Facebook ads to my target avatar. Now, obviously swap this out, whatever your offer is, put that in there. And then I wrote, my goal is to send emails to hundreds of leads with a similar opening message and follow-ups, write messages with a friendly conversational tone, keep messages short to the point and focus on common pain points, blah, 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 et cetera. And then we're going to make, we're going to have the AI format the data using these these different variables they are going to become columns in our spreadsheet later. So just copy this and I'm just going to paste this in here and then I'm going to put, I'm going to shift and enter, put a couple spaces in here. Then I'm going to go back to the Google search results and I'm literally going to copy this entire page, everything that's in it all the way down to here. Just copy that and I'm going to paste that in and then I'm going to press enter and let AI start to sort out the data and clean it up for us. Now, normally this would take, tons of time because you have to manually go through all of this copy and paste individual email addresses and names but, but grok is just going to do that all all, all of that for us which saves us a tremendous amount of time and just really quick if you enjoy content like this please subscribe to me down below i upload content all the time showing people how to make money online how to use different marketing softwares and all different types of types of business tricks and knowledge that i've accumulated over the years which i think you'll find extremely useful so please subscribe i appreciate it thanks now as grok is outputting this you can see it's putting it into a nice neat table for us you can see some of these boxes are empty for example the first name last name these are just empty and i told grok if it's if there is no data available just leave it blank we'll deal with that later in some cases you're just not going to have information you might not have phone numbers you might not have certain things the important thing is the email address the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open google sheets and we're going to put in those those the first name the last name the other variables that we just gave the ai in this case it's first name last name company name website name email phone number and then the next four boxes opening message and then the follow-up messages and these are going to be important later and the reason i have ai writing them is, that, is so that every email that we send is somewhat randomized. It's not the exact same phrasing every time. That'll be very important later. So put all those, those in here, the various columns, go back to AI, and then you're just gonna copy all of that data, then come back to your sheet and paste that data. And I'm just gonna name this leads list so I can find it later. Now the next step is we're gonna download a CRM tool called Streak, and Streak is awesome. First of all, it's free. You can send up to something like 50 or 80 messages per day using it completely for free. They also have a, a paid version. If you use my link here, 
it, it doesn't pay me or anything. It's not an affiliate link, but it just gives you an extra 20 mail merges that you can send per day. But what Streak does is it's a Chrome plugin that integrates directly into your Gmail inbox, and it allows you to create automated messages and follow-up sequences for a list of leads. And it's fantastic. I've used it for years. I've made a tremendous amount of money online using it. And so I highly, rec highly recommend you use it as well. So after you have Streak downloaded, you're going to navigate over to your Gmail inbox. Now, at this point, it's very important to note that you can send emails directly from an at Gmail account if you want, but your deliverability is not going to be great. I highly recommend you take the time to set up a Google workspace for your business. And I would even go a step further and make sure you have a Google workspace that's just for doing cold email outreach like this. That way you're you're just you're covered just in case you somehow get blacklisted which if you do things cor correctly you've got messages randomized and you're sending you know only a certain number per day the inbox is warmed up you should never get blacklisted you should never get banned or anything like that but just in case it's a good idea to set one up and what that'll look like is your name at your domain.com instead of a regular gmail address and if you do that you set that that google workspace up you'll have a much higher deliverability and therefore, you're going to get a lot more responses to the emails that you're sending. And so if you don't know how to do that, I actually have a dedicated guide, which you should see the link somewhere above. And I also will have a link down below on how to set up Google Workspace so you have maximum deliverability. Once you have Streak set up, we're now going to take this new leads list that we have. Maybe you have 10 leads, maybe you have 1,000. I recommend you start with just a small batch so you just get a sense for it. You can always create more mail merges later. So in this case, I've got like, you know, seven emails here. And I'm, I'm going to export these. By going to file download and then comma separated values and i'm going to turn it into a csv file and that's going to download up in the top right then i'm going to go back to my gmail account over here on the left side you can see a streak button i'm going to click that then i click mail merges here on the left then way over here on the right side i'm going to click the plus sign add mail merge now this is where we start to craft the emails themselves so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the CSV really quick. And now it's going to start generating this box over here on the right, which we'll get to in a moment. And so I have eight recipients. That's eight emails that I found. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type out some kind of subject line. So in this case, you're going to be very interested in this. You could use whatever subject line you want. This is not necessarily an ideal outreach email subject line, but I'm going to go with it for now. I'm just trying to show you the important features here. So now here's where we get into what makes Streak so powerful and also why we set up the variables that we did in this original leads list. The reason we set up an opening message, a follow-up message, follow-up two, follow-up three, et cetera. The reason we had AI write these out for us is because of this step that we're going to do right now. So down here in the bottom, this little drop-down is the variables. So Streak allows you to store variables, which we just did in our CSV file. And so in this case, each lead has their own unique opening message. So I'm going to go to variables. I'm going to scroll down to opening message, and I'm just going to input that in there right there. And that's done. So for each lead, you're going to have a, a unique uh, opening message. So if we go over here to recipients, you can just see as an example, I'm going to click this. I've got my emails here. If you mouse over them, you don't even have to click on them. It's going to show you what that opening message looks like. So you can kind of preview them really quickly. If you don't like how it's written, you can click the little pencil icon on the right side. You can edit it. But this is what your opening message looks like. Now, I touched on this briefly earlier, but the reason I had AI randomize all of these messages, including the follow-ups, is because when you send hundreds and or even thousands of messages to cold emails, people that have never talk to you before they don't know you there's a very high probability you're going to get marked as spam and if google sees you're just sending the same exact message over and over again with the same follow-up sequence you're pretty much guaranteed to start going to the spam folder after a while so if you randomize things in in some email softwares this is called spin tax where you you swap out sections of different sentences and you make everything unique in every unique email the reason we do that is so that there's way lower probability that your emails are going to get put to spam. You're still sending the same basic message, the same kind of offer, the same basic kind of follow-ups, but it's a lot more randomized. It seems a lot more um, human, I guess, even though AI did it. So here's our open, opening message. That's it. I just input the variable here. If you really wanted to, you could sign off with something. You could say, thanks, and then your name or whatever. You could have some kind of sign-off message, whatever you want, your signature. That's That's great, too. You could even have an opening message, like a, a, a proper greeting at the top with their name if you wanted to, because we stored those as variables. 
Now, if we go back to the leads list, in this case, a lot of the leads didn't even have first names. So in that case, that might not work. Um, if, if some of them are empty, you could just say hello, put in the variable for first name. If the first name is blank, it'll just leave it blank. So there's a lot of flexibility on how you could set this up. For just demonstration purposes, we're just going to use just the variable. Over here on the right side, this is where street gets really powerful. We're going to click add follow-up. We're going to add a bunch of follow-up messages. So I click add follow-up. It's loading here. It allows us to choose exactly how long we wait before we send a follow-up message. In this case, I'm going to wait three days. That's a fine amount of time. You can set exactly the time of day that it goes out. And then you're going to actually just write the follow-up message. And again, AI did all of this work for you. So it's already done. We just go to variables. We go down to follow-up one and we input that in. Now, again, you can just leave the message as is, as follow-up one. You could maybe, you know, sign off with us uh, with a ending message if you want add some variation to it if you want if you go over to recipients again if you mouse over the recipients it shows you exactly what the follow-up message is going to look like for each individual lead so you can just go through it really quickly and make sure it makes sense but other than that i'm going to add the second follow-up and then the same thing i'm going to change the number of business days to three you could change it to whatever you want you could make it seven days if you want back to variables i'm going to scroll down follow up number two same thing add another follow-up follow-up number three I'm going to wait three more business days and send follow up number three. And that's basically done. Now, you can get really crazy with this and I'm going to let you experiment with it. And I encourage you to do that. I've seen follow up sequences that are like 20 messages long. And so you can get crazy with it. You can test all kinds of stuff. You can create individual mail merges where you're trying different types of follow up sequences. Streak is fantastic for this type of thing. So you could even have messages that trigger like 30 days later, for example, maybe, maybe the lead isn't, isn't ready to buy your, your product or your service right now. And you could, you could just stretch out your follow-up sequence. So each follow-up is spread out farther and farther into the future. And then maybe they're in the buying window later on down the road. However you want to do it, Streak is very flexible. You can play around with things and just see what works. But for now, just for demonstration purposes, we've got an opening message and we've got three follow-up messages. And at this point, you're basically ready to send a test mail merge. You can hit the start mail merge button right now. It will schedule all of these emails. It'll be completely on autopilot. And if somebody responds to any of the messages, it'll pause the mail merge. So they won't actually get any more follow-up messages. And now you can go in and manually respond to them and try to get them to book a call to buy your services. Now, that is a quick and clever way that you can use AI combined with Streak and Google Advanced Search to generate leads and then send them messages so that you can make money. Now, that's actually the easy part. The slightly harder part is how do you actually craft an offer that's compelling to cold emails, to cold prospects? And I actually have a video showing you how to sell anything in four simple steps. I encourage you to go watch that. That's right above. Other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day.